Okay guys, so I finished labeling the property corners and monuments, so I just wanted to give you guys a quick look at that. So we basically got three kinds of labels on our corners. We got labels where there's a monument, okay, so this is, if we found a monument, it gets an M number, okay, so this is M515. Then there's just a short description of what we found and the record reference if we have one. Okay, then the other kind of corner we have is where we look for a monument but didn't find one. Those get a PC number. So this is a PC 1000. We always say SFN, search found nothing. And then what were we looking for? So we were looking for three quarter inch diameter iron pipe tagged RCE 33038 per R8. We did not find it. Okay, then the other kind of corner we have is where uh, there just wasn't a monument. So you can see that one down here, for example. PC 1543, no monument or record. So I've gone in now and labeled all the corners. I believe I got them all on our subject parcel. Okay, plus I also came down and labeled some monuments that we found. Um, and, and not on the subject parcel, but to tie down the survey, the surveys that we needed to resolve the boundary of the subject parcel. So the monument labels are done. And the next thing we're going to do is we'll go in and we'll label, we'll add the parcel labels and the street labels. So we'll label the subject parcel, all the adjoiners, and uh, the public streets. Um, and then we're going to be pretty close to done. I, I might have one one more thing to do after that. All right, guys, we'll uh, we'll we'll catch that. I'll probably catch the rest of this in a in a separate video. Okay, guys, we're going to see if we can finish up this Andro Anno drawing. So uh, we, we want to add the parcel labels and then the, the street names. And so what I'm going to do, we're going to cheat because we have a 30 scale anno drawing that has that information in it already. Okay, so it's got the, actually we've got the streets in the 30 and then we've got the, uh, the parcel labels in the 200. So let me steal these. So I just copied those street labels and we're going to come in here and paste to original coordinates. Now they're too small because they came out of a 30 scale. And this is a 60 scale. So these need to be uh, 9. We go 1.5. So it'll be 9 units high and we'll stretch them out. Okay. <clears throat> so let's go and actually get some stuff out of our 200 scale. So this is a, a, a land title survey because it's got three parcels. It's actually got three three scale anno drawings. We usually only have two, but this one we have a third. Okay, so these are the uh, parcel labels. And then I'm gonna grab these two other road names. We'll copy those. Okay, so we'll paste these in again to original coordinates. Now they're way too big. So we want to fix those. So let's do the street names first because those will be easier. So those are going to be nine units. Okay, and I'll probably move this one a little closer. Okay, now these are way too big. So uh, what we want to do, I'll show you another trick here. We'll pull up our calculator. So they came out of a 200 scale drawing and we want to go to a 60. So we can just scale those down by doing 60 divided by 200, so 0 0.3, okay. So uh, we could just change the, the text height, but then the spacing between the, the two types of uh, the two fonts is going to get messed up. So let's do this. We're going to just scale by 0 0.3, get those to the right size. And then I try and get these, you know, roughly centered in the parcel. Now the reason we have two labels here um, is because we actually have there's two parcels, two tax assessor parcels, even though there's only one, even though there's only one uh, legal parcel. <laughs> okay, so what we have, we just identify the subject parcel. Okay, then we have the owner. So lands of whoever the owner is and the tax assessor. Uh, the tax assessor parcel number, APN, and then where there's a street address, we also add the street address. So this one has a street address. Okay. 
Um, so that's about it, guys. We got the uh, got the parcel labels in there. We got the street names in. Now, what we will do, per the Alta spec, you have to go in and add the adjoiners. So we will go in and add the adjoiner parcel labels. Uh, they're going to be the same kind of label here, only they're not going to have the subject parcel. They'll just be this part of the label. So I can just show you as an example. So we'll have something over here for this adjoiner. And we'll just update this information. Okay. Now we also like to add the vesting deed and the parcel of the vesting deed. Uh, but we're, we're still a little unclear at this point uh, who our vesting, <laughs> what our vesting deed is. Um, we think it's going to be R1. Okay, so uh, let's go ahead and add that. Uh, we're going to add that based on the assumption that that is the uh, that that is the correct vesting deed, but we just need that to be confirmed by the title company. So I'm going to go grab that vesting deed off my sheet one. Okay, so it's uh, it's this document number right here. 2019-003-6251 okay, and I am not going to remember that so I'm just going to copy it okay so we want to go ahead and add that in here so we're going to add this deed reference assuming it is correct I'm just going to put R3 in here okay and then um, it's actually a parcel that that deed has more than one parcel so we like to say what parcel it is okay so let's go find that out so we're going to go into research deeds subject parcel and this actually should say vesting vesting deeds not subject parcels You know what? It does. It is supposed to say subject parcels. All right. So I think it's this first deed right here at the top. And it it uh, isn't. Let's see. Uh, this doesn't look like the right one. So let's try. Let's try this next one down. All right. This is it. Okay, so that first parcel is parcel one, then we have parcel two and three. Okay, so this is uh, this is going to be parcel one. And actually, it would be better if we said parcel one of. Okay, and then we'll do the same thing over here. Okay, so we've got the title of the parcel, <clears throat> the owner, the parcel, as it's numbered in the deed and the deed reference, and then we have the tax assessor parcel number and the address. Okay, and then we will add the owner name and APN uh, for all of the uh, adjoiner parcels. So, and we've got, eh, we don't have quite a dozen, but we've got ten probably that we need to add. So, we'll do that, and then our our anno sixty scale anno drawing will be finished. So uh, hopefully that video helps you guys understand how we put together anno drawings for land title survey here at RH. Uh, we, we follow a very similar process for all of our <coughs> boundary surveying, boundary mapping work products. So similar for parcel maps and, and records of survey. Um, so I may do some more, some more videos on boundary anno drawings, but that'll give you guys the flavor at least. And I um, uh, appreciate you guys watching. Thanks.